Hey, welcome to A Course in Miracles. We are on lesson 65 of 365. So hey, do the math, 300 to go. Let's get right into it. My only function is the one God gave me. The idea for today reaffirms your commitment to salvation. It also reminds you that you have no function other than that. Both these thoughts are obviously necessary for a total commitment. Salvation cannot be the only purpose you hold while you still cherish others. Salvation cannot be the only purpose you hold while you still cherish others. The full acceptance of salvation as your only function necessarily entails two phases. The recognition of your salvation as your function and the relinquishment of all the other goals you have invented for yourself. Okay. This is the only way in which you can take your rightful place among the saviors of the world. This is the only way in which you can say and mean, my only function is the one God gave me. This is the only way in which you can find peace of mind. Today, and for a number of days to follow, set aside 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, for a more sustained practice period in which you try to understand and accept what the idea for the day really means. Today's idea offers you escape from all your perceived difficulties. It places the key to the door of peace, which you have closed upon yourself in your own hands. It gives you the answer to all the searching you have done since time began. Try if possible to undertake the daily extended practice periods at approximately the same time each day. Try also to determine this time in advance and then adhere to it as closely as possible. The purpose of this is to arrange your day so that you have set apart the time for God, as well as for all the other, for all the trivial purposes and goals you will, you will pursue. Let's do that again. The purpose of this is to arrange your day so that you have set apart the time for God as well as for the trivial purposes and goals you will, you will pursue. This is part of the long-range disciplinary training your mind needs so that the Holy Spirit can use it consistently for the purpose he shares with you. For the longer practice period, begin by reviewing the idea for today. Then close your eyes, repeat the idea to yourself once again, and watch your mind carefully to catch whatever thoughts cross it. At first, make no attempt to concentrate only on thoughts related to the idea for today. Rather, try to uncover each thought as, rather try to uncover each thought that arises to interfere with it. Rather, try to uncover each thought that arises to interfere with it. Note each one as it comes to you, with as little involvement or concern as possible, dismissing each one by telling yourself, this thought reflects a goal that is preventing me from accepting my only function. After a while, interfering thoughts will become harder to find. Try, however, to continue a minute or so longer, attempting to catch a few of the idle thoughts that escaped your attention before, but do not strain or make undue effort in doing this. Then tell yourself, on this clean slate, let my true function be written for me. You do not need, you need not use the exact words but try to get the sense of being willing to have your illusions of purpose be replaced by truth. Try to get a sense of being willing to have your illusions of purpose replaced by truth. Finally, repeat the idea for today once more and devote the rest of the practice period to trying to focus on its importance to you. The relief its acceptance will bring you by resolving your conflicts once and for all, and the extent to which you really want salvation in spite of your own foolish ideas to the contrary. In the shorter practice periods, which should be undertaken at least once an hour, 
use this form in applying today's idea. My only function is the one God gave me. I want no other, and I have no other. Sometimes close your eyes as you practice this, and sometimes keep them open and look about you. It is what you see now that will totally change when you accept today's idea completely. Lesson 65. My only function is the one God gave me. Oh, that was a long one. So, Strucks here, uh, the, full, the full acceptance of salvation as your only function necessary entails two phases. The recognition of salvation as your function and the relinquishment of all the other goals you've invented for yourself. Wow. How many goals have I, re have I invented for myself? Let me take a minute to think about that. And I don't know if I'm thinking about this in the right way, but goals in the in in terms of like what's important and not and like what's not important, like like enforcing my views on others. Like is that a goal? Hmm. Um, another struck I had. Um, is man the the interference the in interference in man how how great how great would it be to be able to tackle something like that to be able to just be just laser focused on whatever it is whatever goal and to learn how to block out um that interference so this is definitely a lesson that i'm going to go back i think and read a couple of times because man i really want to get this I really want to get this because I, I find my mind wandering all over the place and uh, and it's frustrating you know but, you know I've been clinically diagnosed as ADD since I was probably 17 and uh, you know I'm 51 now so it's a long time and it, it is something that I deal with on a daily basis um, you know, I have good days and I have bad days. Um, you know, today is kind of a bit of a struggle for me. I, I woke up late and, and uh, I, I like to get things done early in the day because I feel like I'm more productive. But, you know, here it is, here it is uh, about 1.15 in the afternoon and I'm literally just getting my day started. But, um, yeah, I got to give myself grace and I understand that. So I appreciate you guys uh traveling with me it's super important again i'd love to hear from you if there's anything that struck you or something that that really hits or maybe it's something that you're, you're struggling with in today's lesson um i i'd love to talk to you about it so i hope you have a wonderful day today and i'll see you tomorrow